In studio now is Lumki Lemondi, who's a senior economic lecturer at Wits University, to discuss more about the Greek debt crisis and look at other countries facing a similar situation. Lumki, good to have you with us today. It's my pleasure. Good morning. I had put it to uh, uh, Byron that uh, maybe we weren't too surprised by the default uh, from uh, this particular nation when it comes to their payment to the IMF. But uh, it's a difficult situation because we've seen this happening on an ongoing basis with Greece over the last four years. Well, in fact, uh, for us, we live in the developing world. It's nothing new at all. We've seen it uh, in Asia, we've seen it in Latin America, we've seen in Africa that the policies that are being recommended, primarily by the IMF, um, aren't policies that, uh, that are innovative enough to get uh, developing economies going, which Greece, in fact, was not at the same or continues not to be at the same level as the rest of European economies. I and mean, if you look at the peaks countries, they're far backward comparative terms to uh, the, the German, the French economies. So therefore, those economies that came late into the Maastricht agreement uh, towards the formation of the European Union had lots of deficiencies with which the development fund within the EU had sought uh, to bring them back to the same level. And with Greece, uh, with, uh, it's, it it's basically has not uh, uh, worked very, very well. And we're not surprised because uh, ideology uh, where uh, countries lose their capabilities of monetary policy leads to that. If you look at the UK, you look at America, you look at Japan, they, 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 they trade on their own currencies, they raise uh, funding on their own currencies. So they've got power of monetary policy and therefore we're not surprised. Do you not think it's also a factor not just of power but of accountability? I mean uh, the Greek governments uh, had uh, you know over overspended and promised their people far too much over you know the last couple of decades because they probably knew they were backstopped the whole time by the EU so there wasn't accountability there they weren't incentivized to be more responsible you know with their fiscal system well in fact that's really what the problem is is that you know if you look at the Greek economy under Papandreou uh, it's been run uh, under Papandreou for many many years uh, who pursued very Keynesian uh, uh, economic uh, policies. And Greek flourished. Uh, the, Greece, uh, the Greek economy did very, very well. Up until the ideologues of monetarism um, brought in the ideas that when you amalgamate economies, you'll be able to have scale. And clearly, I mean, with the collapse in, in 2008, it indicates that where you've got different cultures, different identities, uh, you cannot piggyback and create an American economy. What distinguishes America from, the, from this amalgamation is the fact that it's a, it's a federal government, it's, it's one flag, it's an American flag, stars and stripes, uh, the same ideology, the same agenda. In Europe, you've got different nationalities, and that is a big, big difference, and it's going to continue on them because when things are tough, such as in Greece at the moment, nationalism crops up, and people uh, identify themselves that, you know what, while in this thing, when Greek people are suffering, and then our neighbors are doing very, very well. So it's a fallacy that having a union, you could be able to overcome under development, when in fact, all these countries, America, Japan, uh, now uh, China, is developing because it's a Chinese economy, it's got identity, and it pursues a Chinese agenda. Having said that, though, Mondi, wouldn't the worst case scenario be for them to actually exit the Eurozone then? Because then, it's as you late. say, moving back to their particular it's currency. Too late. So, it's too late. your outlook then on the referendum yeah. and the vote on Sunday? Well, there is, isn't that here or there? The reality is that, that IMF, IMF is going to come to the table. Uh, we've seen it in Africa, uh, we've seen it in, in Latin America and Asia. They come to the table, remember, as a creditor, as a lender, it's in your interest to get your money back. There's no lender who will say, you know what, these guys have, devo have defaulted, therefore I'm walking away. I'm never going to come back. Uh, I think the Greeks must continue playing hardball. Uh, you play hardball. Um, we saw it under the German reparation uh, in, the, in the 30s uh, when Brazil uh, had so much debt to Germany. Uh, and later when the German, col uh, German economy collapsed uh, and Marshall Plan came to the fore, that it was all British and American money that led to Germany finding its feet. So similarly, the Europeans must, must pay up and get the Greece going. But surely, I mean, Greece is a, is a once-off situation because we've seen how Portugal and Ireland and through the support of the EU yes. and the backstop and the ability uh, to get cheap funding have been able to turn the economies around. And it hasn't. And I disagree. But they uh, are turning around. They are not turning around. This is 2008 and mm. this is 2015. 
we were told by monetarists, uh, by these market dogmas, that by governments building out this financial institution, uh, by austerity, you'll be able to get this economy going. Show me one economy that's recovered. It's only one economy. That's the American economy because in no, that no, the Irish economy has recovered. It's and recovered not through it's austerity it's because they've there. privatized and they've given tax breaks no, and they've allowed no, more no, business to no. come in. Yes, it they, has. They, 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 it has recovered. No, it's a mean, fact. It's not a fact. It isn't <laughs> a fact. The, the Irish economy collapsed and had to be rescued by the state. I have friends... Yes, and they got rescued uh, because they were part point, of the I'll EU. Let me finish my point. The reason why the, the, the Irish economy is stabilized, it has not recovered fully. They, they're not at full employment. Neither is the US economy. Uh, they're not at full fully. employment. The, the American economy has improved the employment. Employment has, has, has gone down from about 8%. It's those are now to the national... to the... To the to the uh, natural unemployment rate um, uh, of inflation, uh, the narrow uh, of unemployment, sorry. So it's just a stage whereby it's able to create jobs. Where I differ with you fundamentally, because I think uh, you, are, you are caught up in economics of monetarism, an economy that favors financial markets at the expense of the public sector, is the fact that the government's public money had to be used to get the Irish economy going. It's not where it was before as one of the economies that was being seen as a model. It is still trying to rise. So the evidence at the moment I'm talking about is still very short term for us to say that, you know what, there's no recovery, there's stability, we can see growth. But, but uh, to counter your argument, the way the US have recovered, if you look at the jobs numbers, they've been cutting state, uh, state jobs, uh, pulling back on, on uh, state spending and letting the private sector grow the, the economy. That, no. That's what the, they've been doing. No. The, the Gentlemen, fact. unfortunately, I'm going to have to pause it here, and it hopefully this conversation will continue we'll continue again out. offline. <laughs> uh, but we do have, <laughs> exactly, we'll take it offline for a moment. But thank you so <laughs> much for, for this vibrant discussion. Yeah. Uh, well, a uh, big thank you to Vitsinia Economist Lumkile Mondi.